are the Pacific bearing uh, rails I got. This is for a y, y axis. It's nice and big, uh, super rigid. And it's a PTFE on PTFE, so Teflon on Teflon slider. You can look inside of there and see the, the Teflon. And uh, these are really well made and they're really quiet. And this makes a perfect single Y axis. You can actually run the belt underneath the car and then un the other returning come underneath the rail uh, and then use T-slot to attach to your table and here is their version of the linear profile rails but these are the, what they call plane bearings again instead of having the recirculating ball cars inside they are again Teflon on Teflon so the rails are PTFE coated and the cars were PTFE coated inside. I actually like these a lot. Um, they're super quiet. They're even quieter than the uh, the linear bearing ones because they don't have anything rolling. They're just like super silent. And I, you know, asked about wear patterns and stuff. And these actually last just about the same as the bearing version. So it's a little bit of a toss up. <clears throat> These are a little more expensive in the item price, but the shipping is much less because they're made in the USA, so they end up being about the same. Chinese ones are cheaper in the item price, but the shipping is a little bit outrageous, so it ends up the same. I can't find anything like this out of China that's as nice, though. <clears throat> this is, I think, definitely what should be used for a Y-axis on a larger bot or something like the Mental Max. This is just ridiculously awesome. And... Uh, <clears throat> This piece right here, big enough to fit a Y axis pretty much exactly on a Mendel Max, uh, including the car, costs about 60 bucks or something, I think. So it's an actually killer deal. And there's those Pacific bearing.